Is this Son Wukong? Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to our Patreon members for helping the channel grow. More on that later. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So it looks like we're back in my Vegas today, and we got some early access to a new game once again. I want to go ahead and give a quick mad shout out to my friends over at Play Studios and my Vegas for giving me early access to this game. And also for hooking you guys up with a couple of chips too. I've got some chips for you in the description box down below. Don't forget to go ahead and check that out. And I'll probably put them in the pinned comment too, so either which way you guys get some free chips just for watching today. So thanks for doing that, uh, my Vegas and Play Studios, and we're happy to go ahead and try this out. And because they gave me a code for this new game over here, we're going to go ahead and try out the new game that's called Immortal Peach over here. So I don't really have any context to this over here. We're going to find out exactly how this game works, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're going to... Is this Son Wukong? All right, they based the mascot on Son Wukong, I think, the Monkey King from Journey to the West here. So this is almost like, uh, it looks like it's an homage to Journey to the West, so if you guys have ever seen <sighs> Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, Yu Yu Hakusho, Bleach, Inuyasha, what, pretty much any shonen anime in the entire world, it's based on this over here. It's an old um, Chinese fairy tale about the Monkey King. Uh, journey to the West there. So definitely worth a read. It's not just about, you know, being similar to Dragon Ball Z and all, even though it's a huge inspiration for that, of course, too. But it, it's got a lot, of, a lot of fun, weird magic and uh, a lot of cool little trickster things going on here. So if this is what this was based on, I'm actually uh, pretty excited to see what this is going to look like. So we'll go ahead and get started there. Okay, Spinners and Sharks, let's go ahead and do something else that I've never done before, too. We're gonna go ahead and read the rules to this game before we actually start playing, so... What I found out you can do, apparently, and I I've known about this, but I've never actually bothered doing this. You can click the little question mark button here in the uh, lower left-hand corner of the slot. So it looks like the Falling Peach feature is the main thing, so once you get a Peach symbol... Um, every time it pops up, it looks like it could put us in the position for new Peaches there. All the peaches have special peach symbols, and then our wild and substitutes. So, and it's all paid out pretty nicely there. Monkey King may throw a staff at a random position. Oh, Monkey King! Okay, so he is Sun Wukong. That's awesome! Turning three horizontally adjacent positions, and so we might get more wilds there. Or he could turn people into the peaches there. That's really awesome! So depending on what the special peach does, so this will be a wild, these will be two times wild, and then if we get two or more of these uh, peaches, we get free spins there. And then after that, all peaches become wild symbols. So that's what's up. And then looks like we have different jackpots involved. Yeah, okay. I think I get this. There's probably a little more to it. Um, but uh, yeah, no, there's going to be quite a bit to it. I I'm sure we'll pick it up as we play. And then I guess in the back you can tell which uh, combinations are good pay lines, but that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and get started. And we've got 100 spins on the clock, on our marks, get set, ready, and go. And there's our first spin down. And that was worth about 300 million there. So we're going to go ahead and get going here. Oh, we've already got our first set of rolls that we can do on the New York, New York game, so that's what's up. So it looks like playing this feature, yeah, even more rolls here. We, m I wonder if we can actually win a New York, New York trip. It's supposed to be worth thirty-one hundred dollars, so that'd be kind of cool. Six hundred fifty million, not bad. And then we're also killing tasks over here. And now we gotta spend thirty more times. That was pretty simple. It looks like everything's been a uh, hit so far. Nice. First five spins have been pretty, pretty drainy here. I think we've lost our first uh, 10 billion chips or so. Nothing major there yet. Like, everything is hitting. It's just not hitting a lot, but we are adding to our vault somehow. Bad. I'm 
really excited about these rolls over here, how many big dice rolls we can get. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come on, Goku. Let's go. Oh, actually, just a second. I think I am going to do something fun with these. Uh, si oh, yo! Hold up! We're going Super Saiyan! The Monkey King just did something. Come on, son. Alright, why didn't he do anything? I'm so confused. Like he was glowing. I saw him breach Nirvana or something like that, or get his key aligned, or what have you. Just got a bunch of rolls in there, though. And there's a bunch lined up in the front. And that wasn't too bad. Okay, there's a billion. That's not bad. That's actually kicking it up. And we got this. And he is one calm king of monkeys. Yeah, I do love the fact that my Vegas games, they're always based on something, so they're always uh, based on some sort of story or mythology. It's either like an homage or a parody or something, and that's always, uh, that's always a pretty clever little thing that they do. I'm still kind of hunting to see if there are any, uh, any particular Easter eggs here. I really want Goku to do something here. Oh, shoot. Yo, I've got a max out vault. Let's go ahead and get that 195 million. Free max out vault. What happens if we do this? Ah, I probably want to upgrade to a mega vault. Sorry about that, guys. Didn't mean to sneeze on stream there just a second ago. I'll get that after we're done spinning. And then we'll add that to our total later. Oh, yo, come on, Goku! Alright. I don't know what he did, though. He got all energy blasted up. Alright. Okay, that one's ready to roll, too. We're just getting so many of these. Alright, we're about 21 spins in. We've just gotta keep hacking at him. Spin. Okay, there we go. There's Goku. Oh, 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 here he comes, here he comes. Dropping the peach. And there's a wild. Was, was that it? Nope, okay. Oh, it's gonna stay in there and it got bigger. Okay, so it's got two times wild, and what's he gonna do now? Okay, so 640 million. Got big. Okay, so it doubled up there. That's a big one. Okay, 7 billion. That's more like it. You know what this kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of Hongbao Hyper Bonus. From, uh, there's another game I play uh, that has that uh, has the kind of drop-in wilds and all that. It kind of reminds me of that. So I, 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 like the, I like the way it lines them up. Okay, 5.1 billion. That's not bad. We actually might be making uh, making some of our nest egg back over there. All right, that one's dropping off, so that's just a full row of wilds. That's double rows of wilds. And no, he's gonna drop in another peach. Let's go, Son Goku. You can always rely on him. Son Wukong, I should say. So Goku's from Dragon Ball Z. He's directly based on uh, Son Wukong, the uh, the Monkey King there. A little trickier, but that's where I uh, think of the power pole and things like, well, yeah, is that a mega? What's going on here? What's he doing? Oh, he doubled that up. He tripled that up. And that got me into the mega jackpot? That's a big one. Okay, 24 billion! Let's go! Picking it back up. Okay, and there's a maxi bonus there, all right. So it looks like he's gonna do a little bit more. That one up. 
Okay. Big win there, 46 billion. That put us uh, right over 900 uh, billion chips there. Okay, so yeah, this uh, once you get those wilds in there, this game really picks up. Oh, and a major, let's go! So one more onto the major. I think as long as we get all the fruits here, so we need eight of these in a row to actually get these bonuses, is what my best guess is. So it seems like this is probably going to be a little bit of a long grind. I'm guessing you might be best off playing uh, long term with get this game over here, but we're still making a pretty handy profit thus far. That's not half bad. Okay. Vault still. Oh, and we also got our tasks done for the day. So we're on our last one. Where we have to find items. And that'll just take time. As we speak, good news, our executive friends over at uh, MGM are hopefully finishing up the Cosmo deal here. Uh, day 2, or video 2 of me asking Play Studios when, um, when Cosmo rewards for my Vegas. So, we'll see what happens there. Really hoping for it. Uh, I'd love to see some speculation, Spinners and Sharks, in the comments on what you guys think the rewards are. I know we talked about it a little bit on the Hashtag Vegas podcast before. Uh, but I'd like to talk a little more about it and see what you guys think. So obviously room rewards are a big one. I saw some two-for-one ideas at Egg Slut there. Maybe a free slice of secret pizza would be a fun uh, low-priced reward to go into. So, huh, I didn't miss out for anything. That's two rows, so that should have been like an up and then down. And maybe it has to go back up again. Maybe because it's four wheels. That could be it. So that's a thought. Um, I, you know what I'd really love to see? I'd love to see a cabana reward too. Maybe one of these days I should just do a top 10 rewards in my Vegas that I want to see. Like the top 10 best rewards in Vegas that we haven't received yet. Maybe we'll write those down. But wouldn't mind a Cabana Boulevard pool. I'm sure that'd be an expensive reward too. That'd be like 200,000 LPs or something crazy like that. I guess that'll just depend on what the uh, what the marketing budget is. So I'm not really quite sure how uh, My Vegas does its marketing. I'm assuming marketing budget. So we got that. So room for sure. Probably some secret pizza. Wouldn't mind getting that Wicked uh, wicked Spoon Buffet, or at least a two-for-one on that, if not a full comp buffet. Maybe they can do, like, a comp buffet as a promotional thing. That'd be fun. Nope. Oh. I thought we were going to have a full row of ten. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, he's thinking about it. He was thinking about it. Come on, shake down one of these peaches here. Give us a peach here. Come on, Goku, give us a peach. Alright, we're down below our initial stake here, but that's alright. We're about halfway through the game. I think if we get one more good little bonus feature, we should be in pretty good shape. So, here's hoping. It's not quite like these Electro Link games where you get like one big feature and it just absolutely wrecks. I think this is going to be a slower burn, which is fine. Let's see, there's three million over there. So that's good. Let's see how we do on this one. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close. I can feel it. I wonder how many dice rolls we're gonna have at the end of this. I mean, just, just watch the dice rolls on this, guys. Do you see this? 
See how fast that's just racking up? Just max betting the whole time. That's awesome. But I guess we'll see. Nice. Wouldn't mind taking a trip to New York, New York. In fact, you know, I think we might book one anyway. Have to find a weekend where we're not working. Lots of uh, project work coming up at the office. So I just gotta make sure it's not gonna be a uh, tough project coming up. And then maybe I can take a couple days off and pop by Vegas, take a couple relaxation days. Hit the arcade. Here he comes, okay. I don't know what he's gonna do, nothing. He's not gonna do anything. Okay, so maybe that's just uh, one of those near miss sort of features there, which is pretty common in slot machines. Just kind of keeps you going, gets you excited and all that. Uh, luckily, you don't have to pour a lot of money into my Vegas here. But, it's fun stuff. It's like seeing, I like seeing the gold war to like uh go yellow go super saiyan <laughs> 328 a.m all right guys this is it i think we got one more spin after this here we go let's make it count last one and go and okay well at least we ended on a win over there so that's something Okay, so it looks like we're going to end on 765,349,558,000 chips here. So let's go ahead and take a quick break. We'll do some maths, and then we'll uh, count up the booty. And that's about it, Spinners and Sharks. We lost momentum towards the end of the game, and that left us with a payback percentage of 53.64% taking a loss of 111,240,554,400 chips. I do love the design of the game, and it's overall pretty cool to see a Journey to the West reference in my Vegas. So in the end, I think that's all that really matters. Alright there, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's gameplay, or found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to give another shout out to our Patreon members. Guys, it means the world to me that you choose to support me in this way and help Ace of Vegas stay independent of the YouTube algorithm. Because let's be honest, my content isn't always as censor and advertiser friendly as YouTube would like, so this goes a long way in keeping the channel running. If you want a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, check out the Patreon link in the description box down below. In the meantime though, how did you guys do when you played Immortal Peach today? Whatever your experience may be, I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. And while you're at it, go ahead and grab those free chips. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys.